Welcome back, folks, to another Let's Play series. Today we're starting off Dragon Quest 1 on the Nintendo Switch. It just came out. It came out alongside Dragon Quest 2 and 3 and 11S. And here it is, Dragon Quest on the Switch. This is the first time we're getting the PS4 port, the you know, the remaster of the original game. So this should be exactly the same as the 1986 version, but with more... You know, quality of life improvements it has updated graphics better gameplay you know quicker gameplay but otherwise it's the same game this is a game i've wanted to see on the switch for a really long time this and the other two i've wanted to see the trilogy on the switch so that people can experience dragon quest the way it was meant to be played the first three games and then 11. that's my recommended playing order so this this is exciting dragon quest the original adventure so yeah, let's jump right in. I've already beaten this game multiple times in the past. I know exactly what to do. I can give you some good commentary. So, it's nice. The, mu the music sounds great too. Uh, obviously we're gonna go with this. The, and also the way this the word box looks also. I love the font, the way it has the black with the white border. And we'll get fast mesh speed. Uh, some good loud music. Here we go, the beginning. Scion of the bloodline of Erdrick, hero of legend, long have I awaited thy coming. So this is a brand new script. A brand new script is different than the NES version and it, has, it retains the old English style uh, d dialogue. In the days of yore, there, thy revered ancestor did receive of the almighty goddess a sphere of light. And then the Dragon Lord came one day, of course, and with his cunning, he stole away the Sphere of Light, plunging the land into darkness once more. So, the main character is of the bloodline of heroes, vanquished the accursed Dragon Lord and reclaimed the Sphere of Light. So these chests contain items that can help, and the people in this throne room will help if you talk to them. May the Goddess guide thee to victory and return the Antus ere long, brave chief. So here we go, and that's Dragon Quest One, the beginning of Dragon Quest One. So the Dragon Lord, there's no cutscene at the beginning of the game like the Game Boy version. The Dragon Lord stole the Ball of Light and kidnapped Princess uh, Gwelyn, and the kingdom is basically in ruin now. So it's up to us to defeat him. This game is really a classic. It's it came out the same. It came out 19, 1986, same year as Legend of Zelda. It was more ambitious, I think. Because of the way it sort of looks as a mystery game that requires you to investigate and find clues. Does thou know uh, of this poor Princess Gwelyn? So the key opens doors. In this game, doors need to be opened by keys. So you have to get a key to open the damn door. And if you notice, the sprites also are very, uh, they're, they're kind of like HD looking, don't you see that? The Tentacle was once a fair, uh, fairground. It was a very peaceful place. And now there's lots of enemies and monsters everywhere. So it's kind of like post-apocalyptic a little bit, uh, the way, the, the way everything is. This is Tentacle Castle, you know, where it all began. No keys, you can't get into there. Uh... So this guy's telling me that I should hone my skills by battling beasts and increase my level. The way this game is designed is that the characters in this game talk and they tell you how, where to go and you have to listen to clues and kind of piece things together. It's like a, it's like an adventure mystery kind of game, but also it's an RPG. Uh, like, did you hear the rumors? Oh, I did not hear the rumors. There's a town laid to ruin by marauding monsters. So there's some sort of town out there that was destroyed by monsters. We already... We already know about that because of this. Interesting. So he's a traveling merchant and he lost a lot of friends who died. Oh, this, this guy is really sad. Oh no, he's so upset that the princess was kidnapped. Oh, you need a torch. According to this guy, you need a torch to light up caves. And he's right because if you don't if you don't have a torch, you're, you're going to be stuck in a cave and it's going to be impossible to navigate them. So when dark, 
spread across the land, light shall return by Erdrick's hand. Almighty Goddess, we pray that the ancient teachings hold true. May thy light shine upon the brave chief's quest. So that he just healed me, it looks like. And... Nothing there. Okay. Looks like everyone is really worried about the princess. So here's the menu system. It looks just like the original, except it's like more uh, updated. I have a bamboo spear. Okay, that's my weapon. In this game, you have one party member. You're going off on your own, essentially, and you're trying to defeat the Dragon Lord by yourself. So we've already gotten some good exposition from the king. It's time to go off into the world and try to, you know, finish the quest, I guess. The, the dragon quest. The first game where you actually kill the dragon. So that town to the right, that would be... Well, I wonder what town that is. Oh, hello there. The castle town of Tantagil bids thee welcome. So, this is Tantagil, the castle town. Welcome unto thee, friend. For thee, uh, make thy way into the premises and state thy business or counter. The, the old English dialogue it gets so, uh. Does it get old? Hmm. So a lot of people have perished on their journey. So, a little bit of exposition behind this game. Basically, in the main character is the scion of Erdrich. He is basically he is a descendant of a legendary hero who lived long ago, who is no longer around, and he is trusted with this power. He's basically the only guy who can do anything. Oh, hello there. Oh, she's not Princess Gwalen. Oh, silver-tongued indeed, and she's following me around. Wonder what happens if we check in at the end with her. Yeah, sure. Three gold. That's worth it. Okay. Um, let's see what the old man here has to say. Where are the poisonous marshes? Oh no. He must have gotten hurt in the poison marshes. And what does this guy have to say right here? I still have this girl following me around. So, thou art of the bloodline of the mighty Erdrick, thou say, that's the proof, uh, no. Oh, he needs proof. He's being a jerk about it. Alright, so, where the heck do we need to go? I wonder where we need to go. Hey, I got a lot of money from the king, I should probably get some, uh, a weapon with the money. Uh, hey, if I had enough money, I would buy that. But for now, I think that this will have to do. Uh, I'm gonna equip this leather shield. It'll it'll help me out probably. There's gotta be some sort of hint to where to go next. Oh, who's this? It's a soldier. He must have gotten hurt. The force tasked with rescuing Princess Gwalen got destroyed. No. That's really that's not good at all. Jeez. What about this soldier right here? Hast thou heard of the great bard uh, Galen? They say he took his beloved lyre and unto his grave. That's a harp. I ought to have heard heard him play. So, Galen, huh? This guy, what does he have to say? No. There's a f town far distant from this place. Magic keys are sold as the green river trees. There's a town far away where they sell keys, huh? Interesting. Hmm. He said something about Gallon home. He... You know, I think we should go north. I think that's a good, a good idea. Let's head north and we'll try to find this town that he talked about where Gallon rested. That's the only hint we've got after all. Oh, what's that? That cave over there looks pretty suspicious. Let's check that out after we defeat this Drachia, our first enemy. Alright, come on. Let's see if we can beat him. 
Ooh, he's tough. He's really tough. Holy, I'm gonna die. Oh, I, I survived actually, wow. Oh, if you press X, there's a world map. Oh, this is much easier now. The, um, a lot of the challenge of the original game is the fact that there's no world map. Let's see this map. Accordingly, it even tells you where all the cities are, actually. Wow, that's actually really easy. Wait, wait. Y brings up the menu. A brings up the menu. X brings up the map. And that little, little feather icon is where we are. Which means, uh... There is a city in the top left corner. We can go there. Okay, so there's only a couple places around here to even explore. Let's let's move on in, into wait. Ah, I keep pressing X because I'm so used to X being the. All right, we can grab more medicinal herbs with the money we have. I'm gonna go grab some more medicinal herbs because we're gonna be needing those for the long journey ahead. I need to go to that cave. I want to see what's in that cave. There might be something interesting there. Maybe this guy has the medicinal herbs? I forget. He doesn't. He only has the uh, weapons. The item shop should be around here. So wait, if I press X here... There's no town map, but there is a... Ah, oh, here we go. This must be item shop. Alright, medicinal herb... Alright, you just gotta hate keeping medicinal herb and keep your until you are all full. Alright, cool. Now we can head off north and I wanna check out that cave. Alright, we're heading north. Onwards to adventure. Oh. A she slime. Hopefully we're strong enough to beat it. Come on. Yes! We beat a she-slime. It seems really impressive now, but it's like... Those are the weakest enemies. Alright, we're gonna check out this cave. So how well do you think the game runs so far? It runs alright. Oh, the torch. Of course. The guy, the guy in the castle told us to use a torch to light up the cave. Well, that, that helps, I say. Damn, I don't remember how to get to the end. This is really, like, maze-like... These original Dragon Quest dungeons are expertly crafted because of how it's like you can really get lost. All right, there's a dragon logo here. That might mean we're on our on a good path so far. Okay, that's a dead end. Are there no enemies in here? I guess this cave has no enemies or monsters or anything. All right, found something. It looks like a grave of some sort. Right, the stone tablet. The following message is etched into the stone tablet service. I am Erdrick. Hear me well, bearer of my blood, heir to my destiny. If you would reach the evil island visible from Tentagil's shore, you will require the three sacred artifacts. Gather them and you may yet cross to that accursed isle and destroy the source of all evil, as I too did so long ago. Before my passing, I trusted the three objects of three great sages. If the fates have still be have been kind, their descendants guard them still. So the three stages have descendants also. When evil rules the ill-starred isle once more, gather the hall hollow triad and strike a blow for the cause of light. No doubt those of the line of the sages await you somewhere in this world. Blood of my blood, child of my children, go forth and fulfill your destiny. Wow, that's pretty epic. So Erdrick left a message here. This is Erdrick's tomb. This must be his, bur his burial spot or some sort. He left a message for us. Wow. So, you heard how he mentioned that the Dragon Lord's castle is located across the water from... It was located right across, is what he said. So let me show you what he's talking about. We're going to head down again. A little bit of grinding. Alright, so you see that castle right there? That right there is the Dragon Lord's castle. It's right across the river from uh, Tantacle Castle. 
the way I look at it is it represents the goal at the beginning in mind. As soon as you leave the castle, you immediately see you immediately see the, the, the end game uh, place, but you can't get there yet because you can't go across the water. So th with this in mind, you know what needs to be done. You know where you need to go. You're looking for ways to get there. And it's just the way the game is designed is so brilliant. So it's so well done. Oh, here we go. Another slimy boy. That was that was easy. But yeah, it's it, it really it's it's really great how this game kind of guides you, the player naturally. Anyway, we'll keep moving onwards. I don't know how I feel about this character portrait. It's not like amazing. It's it's a little it's a little weird how it's it's higher res than the rest of the world. All right, Narshi slime. This is a lot easier than the Game Boy version, I gotta say. Alright, new level, leveled up. Strength increased by 2, maximum HP, and 4 coins. This is a lot easier than the Game Boy version, wow, this is like... Wanna hear a song? Sure. Oh! Oh, he's really awful at music, I guess. Alright, so this is Gallon home, according to that woman. This must be Gallon's resting place. That, that, this building right here. Yeah. Oh, he has good weapons. An iron axe. That'll make me so... That'll make me really powerful, actually. Wow. What about this guy? Oh, crap. It said it was built to honor the name of so that was Erdrick's tomb. This is the item shop. So this town sprung up around his dwelling, came to be known as Gallon Home. So th this is the town that Gallon, the, the companion of Erdrick, founded. Eastward. So eastward is where they went. They went east? Of course that's where they went. Is there no one in this realm with courage enough to go to rescue? Yeah, there is. Me. Oh my goodness. Okay, so she was taken to the east. That's what we know. We should fight some dudes and get stronger because right now I don't have much money. This is oddly easy, I gotta say. It took me a long time to get the gallon at home before. It took, right now it's been like not even... It's been less than 20 minutes, and, and I've already gotten there. All right, let's fight some dudes. Let's fight some monsters. All right, there we go. Ghost. He's tough. He's a tough one, isn't he? Oh, I killed him. This is really easy. What the heck? Why is it so easy? There's got to be like a difficulty setting or something. No, there isn't. I think they really did narrow, like, make the game a little bit easier, because this is... I did a Game Boy, uh, uh, let's play the Game Boy version. It was a lot harder. It was a pain in the ass, I would say. Alright, well, maybe I'm just really tough. Let's do a little more, a little more guys, fighting guys. Wow. Ah, I keep hitting X. Okay, uh, 31 gold. Yeah, it's not too it's not too bad. The music actually sounds really great also. Oh my this ghost is a little bit tougher. Nice. Level up again. Level three. Well done. Five. Okay, that was that was quick. That was relatively quick. 
Oh, I forgot to mention this. There's only one save point in the entire world, actually. You have to keep going back to uh, Tentacle Castle in order to... Um, in order to save you can, there's no you know how uh, you know modern dragon quest games there's churches that you can save in they didn't have this in the first game so you can only save in one spot in the entire game world so we're gonna have to go back there actually wait what if i what if i press start quick save you can do quick save and that's that, that's a little something i like going back to the, the, the king though to report to him i feel kind of like a soldier all right We'll head on back down to Tentacle Castle and... Hopefully we can get enough. Moving onwards then. And we're back at the castle once again. Alright, so I'm gonna save here actually. Now Yeah, that, that, that wasn't too bad. We'll we'll head off now again, and we'll try to move further. I think the game being a little bit easier is going to give us some opportunities. So, let's rest at the inn. Uh, heading on... The controls are a little goofy. I'm using the Super Nintendo controller, by the way. All right, leather suit already. No, I can. Well, if I sell something, if I fight another couple of dudes, I'll probably have enough money for that leather suit. All right, I'm just gonna grind a little now. All right, here we go. Also, you notice how the enemies aren't sprites; they're like drawings now. gonna take a little while to get that exp uh, here's the nurse slime yeah they're, they're like drawing the enemies are drawings now they're like they're more hd looking uh close only four more gold and i can afford that armor suit uh, i wish there would be more shading in the overworld it would look a little bit nicer i think I know a lot of people on Twitter are complaining about this game the way it looks. Uh, I think I think Dragon Quest 3 looks fine. I think this one it could have looked a little bit better. I personally prefer the NES version the way that one looks because it looks it looks more like an adventure, like you're going into some open, huge open world. All right, killing the slime. All right, uh, and that should be enough. Let's head back. And we'll equip this leather suit now. Okay, so status. The defense is high. All right, let's let's go let's go rush that place now. I think I should be able to. It's not it's not as tough as it was before. Now, if you go here. This is a little shortcut. People don't know about this one. Especially since there's a map now, that makes the game way easier. I think a lot of the difficulty in the original game was the fact that there was no map. Like, we have a map now. Now, there should be a cave up here. But it's not, it's not charted. Pretty sure there was a cave. Okay, that's Ga Gallon Home. Eat this Draki up again. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, I'll keep getting stronger. Alright, we'll keep heading downwards and until we get to Gallon Home. Or not, 
not killing him. Then the, ne the next cave. Except that guy up uh, up there told me to go east because he said that that's where. Oh, level up. You have to listen to what the people in in the town say. That guy said to go east. I think that's a good idea. Like I don't know where I, I don't know why I'm going downwards, but uh, going east sounds sounds like a sounds like a good plan. But well, I want to see what's down here first, because who knows? There might be a cave of some sort. Right, here we go, ghost. Yeah, this is way easier. It was so hard for me to get here before. It, it, took, it took me like hours to get here before. And it's another victory. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And here's a scorpion. Oh, these guys are tough, I think. Oh yeah, he's tough. Oh, he's... Okay, okay. I know when I'm beat. I, I know when I'm beat. Do I, though? Okay, I do, I do. I'm out of here. That scorpion's gonna freaking kill... Okay, okay. That scorpion is, like, actually gonna destroy me. Now... I think that's uh, some good progress. Oh, the magician or the the prestigi prestigi whatever that is. We could beat him. Yeah, I beat him. He looks a little goofy in this game for some reason. All right, so we'll. Hmm. Yeah, things are getting things are a little too easy for some reason. Not quite as event as eventful as the uh, the original version. All right, we'll head on downwards now. Uh, there's our slime, and our slimy boy. All right, we're gonna go visit the king, and we're gonna save. One more time. I know not a lot of guide done, but this is kind of a good introduction for the series. Alright. Our 43 EXP points to level up. And we're gonna save in the top thing. And we're gonna end this episode here, actually. I know it seems short because I usually do hour-long episodes, but I think half an hour is appropriate for the original Dragon Quest. This game is so easy to beat, it's so quick to beat, it'll take me like less than five hours to beat it honestly so this will be a quick a quick series honestly it's, it's not gonna it's, it's gonna it's not gonna go over too long dragon quest 2 and 3 on the other hand those are gonna take forever i'll be doing hour long episodes of those so yeah uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time when we continue dragon quest 1 on nintendo switch